Good evening, Mark. Yeah, any citizen in the state of Washington has the right to petition any state agency if they want that agency to examine a certain issue or topic. And this mother from Lewis County picked a controversial one. She wanted the state to make the vaccine for HPV, a traditionally sexually transmitted disease, made mandatory for all public school students. I'm going to try to hold it together here. Armed with photos of children who they say died after being given and, vaccines. Uh, myself, my children, my grandchildren have been vaccine injured. Skeptics of the benefits of child immunizations lined up to testify against the thought of adding another vaccine to the list required for students to attend Washington State public schools. It's not spread by coughing or sneezing or all the little germy hands everywhere. The state's Board of Health held this discussion on adding the human papillomavirus or HPV vaccine to the state's mandatory immunization list because of a request from one family. Today I'd like to tell you the story of why this was petitioned. Exactly one year ago today, my mother announced that she would have cancer. Six weeks later, she died. Kaya Huffman's mother, Keo Marie Huffman, died from cervical cancer, one form of cancer the Centers for Disease Control says the HPV vaccine can help prevent. Huffman's children think the vaccine can save lives, so they filed a petition with the state to have the issue studied. Just being here and seeing how the system works, seeing all the mothers who are passionate and active, it's a beautiful thing, and I really hope that this conversation goes further. We believe at the Department of Health that the vaccine is very effective um, and very safe. State Health Officer Dr. Kathy Lofi says while the benefits of the vaccine need to be promoted, making it mandatory is not a priority for the state. You know, I think we feel that it probably would not be productive to accept this petition. The Huffman family says they were not surprised their petition was denied. They're just glad they had a discussion and they say they're not done fighting. They plan on looking for some lawmakers here at the Capitol to try to back their proposal. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.